1947 until 1952, the Hooker Chemical Company used the Love Canal section of Niagara Falls as a dumping site for toxic waste. President Carter declared a state of emergency today in the Love Canal area of New York's Niagara Falls, where toxic chemicals were discovered oozing from the ground. Love Canal is regarded as one of the most appalling environmental tragedies in American history. Where did it go wrong? And what can be done to prevent future Love Canal disasters? William T. Love started the Love Canal in the early 1900s, attempting to connect the lower and upper sections of the Niagara River. The intention was to use this canal to generate cheap electricity for the industry in the area. However, this project soon became obsolete after Nikola Tesla's discovery on how to economically transmit electricity over great distances by means of alternating current. The partial ditch where construction had begun was left to sit until the 1920s. It was at this time that the canal was turned into a municipal and chemical dump site. Between the years of 1942 and 1953, Hooker Chemical Company dumped over 20,000 tons of hazardous chemicals into the abandoned canal. In 1953, Hooker's executives decided that it would be a good idea to cover the canal with fill, cap it, and sell it to the city. The city bought the site for the low price of one dollar, but it was a bad buy. This marked the beginning of a series of unethical decisions that will lead to the sickening of thousands. Later in the decade, about 100 homes and even a school were built on the site. It became a solid working class facility. For a while. By the 1970s, residents started to notice the foul odors coming from the area. After a series of high-intensity rain events, chemical leaching exploded. People claimed to have seen waste disposal drums breaking up through the ground in their backyards. Trees and gardens were dying as the chemicals continued to leach into the soil, and children were being burned by chemicals that had percolated up to the surface. Legislations were placed because the government owes its citizens a healthy environment to live their lives. Not doing so directly violates the first canon of the National Society of Engineers, stating that the public's health should always be held paramount. While this is bad enough, the US EPA was also hiding information to the public. A file leaked, in which was found a study stating that the people of Love Canal might have increased chromosomal abnormalities. It was only then that the EPA began to act on the situation. The government always had regulation against polluters with the Federal Water Pollution Control Act of 1948. But the severity of the site's contamination ultimately led to the creation of federal legislation to manage the disposal of hazardous waste. This legislation was titled the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, otherwise known as the Superfund Act. Consequently, New York Governor Hugh Carey announced to the residents of the canal that the state government would purchase homes affected by the chemical leaching. This same day, President Carter approved emergency financial aid for the Love Canal area. As humans on this earth, we owe it to Mother Nature and ourselves to keep our water clean. And to do so, we must continue moving forward, updating policies, holding polluters accountable for what they did. It is imperative that governmental organizations such as the EPA behave ethically so that our air and water stay clean, so that kids can play, animals can live, and with water so clean, it cleans your teeth.